All right, Shalom. This is Brother Isaiah from the GMS Rally. GMS North Carolina, North Carolina came back with a Lord's Will and Fine lesson. Before we go any further, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. The Bar and the Apostle was a great millstone teaching us, and we're saying truth according to Bar and Well. And uh, peace and blessing so afflict to the nation of Israel. Take their spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai. We're going to get into a, a Lord's Will edifying lesson, you know, a, a new creature, a, a new purpose in life. You know, as we become these new creatures that we are uh, commanded to become, if we uh, have a desire to, you know, enter into the kingdom of heaven, right? It comes with a new purpose, a new meaning of life of why we're here on the earth, right? This is uh, St. John 5, St. John chapter 3, verse 5, Yahweh Shai answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water, and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High, right? Except the man be born of water, right? Scriptures talk about uh, um, in Psalms uh, one nineteen and nine it says, "Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word." So by taking heed, right, actually listen to the instructions and following them, that's how you cleanse your way, right? That's how you clean up your actions, you know, as uh, the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, is a power of knowledge, and by Him, actions are weighed in the balance. This is Ephesians 5 and 26. It says that he might sanctify and cleanse it by the washing of water by the word. Talking about the church. By the believers, we're being washed and cleansed by the words of Yahweh by Shema This is St. John 15 3. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Right now we're clean by us hearing this word. The Lord has cleaned you know, that filth and that pollution. That old man, he, he's, he's washed him away. You know, they have this term to be brainwashed, right? Yeah, your brain should be washed because it's filthy, right? This is St. John 3 and 5. Yahweh shall answer, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High, right? So your spirit, right? We're, we're, we're more than uh, just flesh and blood, right? We're more than just you know, skin and bones, <laughs> right? We have a spirit. This is St. John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, right? The word quickeneth means to make alive, right? So the spirit behind by Shema Shai has made our spirits that were, that were dead, <laughs> that, that, were, that, that was asleep, alive, active, right? To render active, to make alive. It says... It is the spirit that quickeneth, let's get this uh, definition for quickeneth, right? To provide life, be God, our bear, living young, to cause to live, make alive, give life, right? To restore to life by spiritual power, to arouse, to in, 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 invigorate. It says of the spirit uh, quickening, quickening as respect the spirit, as res respect the spirit, and do with new and greater power of life metaphor of the seeds quickening into life, right? Springing up, growing, right? So that's what the words of Yahweh Shema Shai do for our souls, right? It says, it is the spirit that quickeneth, right? The, the, the flesh profit of nothing. Right? The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. You see? Um, this is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1. And, and you have he quickened who were dead in some... In, in, it's like it, it says, and you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in times past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the, the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we had our conversation in times past 
in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. So there was a time, right, where our spirits was, you know, all all our purpose was to, to fulfill the flesh. The flesh was hungry, we ate. The flesh wanted to do this, we did that, right? It was, we didn't live according to the purpose of Yahweh Shema Shai. But the Lord have quickened us. He's given us a new purpose, a new reason, right? Of, of a, a new manner of life of why we're actually here. This is St. John 3 and 5 one more time. Yahweh Shai answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High, right? That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born to the spirit is spirit. That was, that was pretty much the point, Um, the point that I'm trying to make. This is um. Colossians 3 and 1, if ye then be risen with the Mashiach, right? If ye then be risen with Yahweh Shai, Right, being given this new uh, purpose of why you're here, right? Uh, you know, the Lord has, you know, uh, given you a, a clean slate, you know, so to speak, to where we're 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 given this grace period to where we're not under, you know, the the full the full ordinance of the law, and you know, uh, if if you break the commandments, you're, you know, you're you're judged immediately. No, the Lord has given us grace. You know, to uh, to rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh by Shema Shai, as it tells us in Judges five and eleven. Right? Let, let's get that. Um, this is a uh, Judges five and eleven. They that are delivered from the noise of archers, right? Archers, you know, uh, archers don't make noise. They're 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 silent assassin weapons, right? They that are delivered by the noise of archers, talking about. Uh, the, the, the pest the, the nuclear destruction that Yahweh Shema Shah is going to bring right uh, you know a great earthquake you know it's going to be a loud noise when these missiles are being uh, shot off they that are delivered by the noise of archers in the place of drawing waters right the place of drawing waters represent what servitude where we will serve out a punishment and a captivity Right here in America, there shall they rehearse, rehearse meaning to practice the righteous acts of the Lord. What are those? The, the law, such commandments, walking in faith, right? It will be there where we will be giving a new purpose as we, as uh, the Apostle Paul told us, you know, in, Thess in the book of Thessalonians, that uh, what there should be a falling away first. So we fell away, you know. Uh, discontinued from our heritage and we were doing our own thing living our life trying to be a football player a basketball player you know, whatever it was right it says even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages in Israel then shall the people go down to the gates and uh, we'll go back to um, Colossians 3 and one, if ye then be risen with the Mashiach, I mean, Yahweh Shai, who the world only calls Jesus, seek those things which are above where Yahweh Shai sitteth on the right hand of the Most High. So we're seeking the glory, you know, that comes with being obedient to the ways of righteousness, right? The things that are promised to come, the kingdom of heaven, right? It says, set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth, right? So this wisdom, have this 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 glorious gospel has come down from the heavens. You know what instruction of what we need to do, and we ought to follow them. It says, "Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth, for ye are dead, and your life is hid with the Yahweh Shai and the Most High." So we're dead to this world, you know, uh, who who we used to be is no more, right? The old man is uh, dead and gone. It says, for ye are dead and your life is hid, right? So our real life is the, the life that we're uh, looking to, you know, uh, obtain by being this new creature, 
you know, following the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shai, the law slash commandments of the Holy Bible, walking in faith, right? That it is it, has it, yet to appear. It, it is it is uh, it's going to be revealed when Yahweh Shai returns. It says, when Yahweh Shai, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye appear also with him in glory, right? That that purpose, that new uh, meaning of life that you've been uh, working towards, uh, that you've been, uh, you know, putting in the righteous acts to the best of your ability is going to pay out in the end. Let's get uh, one more scripture, uh, Galatians 6. In 7, it says, Be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Right? The Lord's come and give a man a reward for all the things that he's doing down here upon the earth. You see? For he that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. Right? So if you uh, are sowing in the earth, you know, things that only please your flesh, only things that please you, you're going to reap corruption. But he that sows to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting, right? And uh, uh, dealing with the Spirit of the Lord, you know, if you sow, you know, and, and do the things that please Yah by Shema Washai, you're going to reap everlasting life. It says, And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So let's not be weary. And doing that which is right, because a great reward is coming. Uh, this is uh, St. John 4 and 22. I'm sorry, 22. It says, ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship for salvations of the Jews, right? And you have to know what, you know, what you're worshiping, you know, why you're here. You have to be very intentional in your walk and to know that salvation, you know, has been opened on to us via the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai. Right, we've been given this chance, you know, uh, you know, to win basically. But the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him. Yahweh is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Right, and we. Oh, let's break that down, right? What, what is the spirit in in truth, right? This is St. John 17 and 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. So, you know, you, you worship in Yahweh by Shema Washai, you know, by taking heed to his words. You know, uh, to sanctify means to dedicate, you know, to cleanse, to make holy, right? So the words of Yahweh by Shema Washai is teaching us how to dedicate our lives to the Lord. Right, and it was promised to us that a small remnant will be doing these things in the last days, and we have to put on us the elect of Yah by Shema Washai as a great uh, day of testing, a day, a great day of trial is fastly approaching. This is Saint uh, Saint Isaiah, uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter ten, verse twenty, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, right? Who smote us? Esau, Edom, our enemies, right? So we're no longer leaning upon our enemy in their system that they set up, the system of oppression, right? There they shall rehearse the righteous acts of Yah by Shema Washai and become those new creatures. But shall, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in, in truth, right? But we're going to lean upon the Lord, Yah by Shema Shai and in truth. Right? So with that, Lord's only edified. Next time we say Shalom.